Hey guys, I am DC, host of Our Side Jive. Welcome to my daily dose. It is Friday, August 23rd, 2019, and it is my Siege on Normalcy Tour, day two, three. Hope everyone's doing great. It is Friday afternoon or evening, and I am at Outlaw Cider, 112 East Texas Street in historic downtown Grapevine, Texas. You guys ready to talk some rock and roll? Let's do it. So on this day in rock history, Keith Moon, the drummer for who? Who? That's right, you guys are so freaking smart. The Who. He was born in 1946. Wow. This legendary wild man, he passed away on September 7th, 1978, after taking an overdose of something called him and Everett. I think I'm right. Him and Everett? Anyway, it's a prescription medication designed to like curb your desire for alcohol. And poor old Keith had a alcohol problem, so uh, among probably other things. But anyhow, rest in peace there, Keith Moon. And guys, in 1970, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer gave their first ever performance in Plymouth, England. That's right. A week later, they would perform before an estimated 600,000 people at the Isle of Wight Festival held annually in Newport on the Isle of Wight. Imagine that. England. That's where that place is. Just in case you want to know. Now guys, on this day in 1974, John Lennon. Remember him? Well, John Lennon, who was in the middle of his lost weekend. Have you heard about John Lennon's lost weekend? Well, you guys... You guys know what I mean when I say lost weekend, right? Because he had one. I think it was more than a weekend. But anyway, so by the summer of 73, John Lennon and Yoko Ono, his wife, they were kind of on the rocks, okay? Things weren't going very well. As an unusual remedy, his wife Ono suggests that John have an affair with their assistant, May Pang. Well, that decision led to Lennon's lost weekend, okay? The, the 18 months that the ex beat lived with Pang <laughs> in her New York apartment and they rented home in Los Angeles, California, was interesting for old John. Anyway, during this time, John claimed he saw a UFO from the balcony of his New York apartment he shared with May. John even noted the time and date of his sighting in the liner notes in the album Walls and Bridges. Wow, John. There's a lot more to that story. Maybe we'll talk about it one day. Very interesting, the lost weekend. Anyhow, let's move on. So Aerosmith, they let the world know that the original lineup was back for good when they began their Done With Mirrors tour in 1985. Done With Mirrors was the band's eighth studio album and marked the return of the band's guitarist Joe Perry, who had left in 1979, and Brad Whitford, who had left in 1981. All right, guys. So Fleetwood Mac, let's have a little Fleetwood Mac news here. They released their second album, Mr. Wonderful, in 1968. Could that be possible? 1968, wow. The record featured keyboardist, Christine Perfect. Right, because that was her name before she met John McVie and married him and became Christine McVie. Christine Perfect. Only John knows if she's truly perfect, but that's the story. In 1974, Tesla refused to become a grunge casualty and put out Bust a Nut, which surprised many by reaching number 20 on the Billboard 200. 
cool. Tesla rocks. And on this day in 1994, Trent Reznor, lead vocalist for Nine Inch Nails, compiled the soundtrack to Oliver Stone's Natural Born Killers movie. The album interspersed dialogue from the movie with songs by artists as diverse as Bob Dylan, Patsy Cline, and Dr. Dre. Wow. Guys, it's that time again. It's time to wrap my rock history for the day. Don't cry. No tears. It's Friday. You got other things to do, so you know, don't worry about my rock history. Besides, I'll be back tomorrow with more. But guys, don't forget to check out my Barside Job Live Rewind. And Sunday morning, I've got a new one already ready for you guys. Sunday morning on my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Barside Job Live. And if you like my daily dose of rock music, guys, just go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Barside Job Live. Click that big ass. Click that big ass red subscribe button. And just lets me know that you're there in the community. And then it will notify you when I got something new to post, which I do all the time now. So I appreciate you following me on YouTube. Uh, send me a comment too. Something you like, something you don't like. Just comment youtube.com forward slash Barside Jive Live. Oh yeah, and please like and share my videos. It's really cool when you guys do that. It's like motivating, and I need motivation. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you hanging out with me during this little daily dose I'm doing here at Outlaw Cider in downtown Grapevine, Texas, 112 East Texas Street. No, he's got cold cider. He's ready to serve you. So come on by if you're in the DFW area, in the heart of DFW, right here in Grapevine. But remember always, the bar side job rule is we drink responsibly. Keep in mind, you've only got one life to live, so let's make it count, let's make it last. All right guys, peace, love, and rock and roll. Have a great weekend, we'll see you tomorrow. Jive Live.com. There, man. Smoking. Yeah.